fraud. A dishonest act by an employee that results in personal benefit to the employee at a cost to the Fraud Triangle Three main factors that contribute to fraudulent activity 1. Opportunity 2. Financial pressure 3. Rationalization The Sarbanes-Oxley Act All publicly traded U.S. corporations are required to maintain an adequate system of internal control and audits. Internal control consists of all the related methods and measures adopted within an organization to safeguard its assets, enhance the reliability of its accounting records, increase efficiency of operations, and ensure compliance with laws and regulations. Purpose of Internal Control 1 Safeguard a company's assets from employee theft, robbery, and unauthorized use. Internal Auditors Company employees who continuously evaluate the effectiveness of the company's internal control systems. Bonding Obtaining insurance protection against theft by employees. Human Resource Control 1 Bonding employees who handle cash. Human Resource Control 2 Rotate employees' duties and require employees to take vacations. Human Resource Control 3 Conduct thorough background checks Voucher System A network of approvals by authorized individuals acting independently to ensure this a network of approvals by authorized individuals acting independently to ensure that all disbursements by check her proper Voucher An authorization from prepared An authorization form prepared for each expenditure in a voucher System Petty Cash Fund To pay relatively small amounts Bank Reconciliation Compares the bank's balance with the company's balance and explains any differences to make them agree. Check A written order signed by the depositor directing the bank to pay a specific sum of money to a designated receipt. Bank statements Shows the depositor's bank transactions and balances Bank service charge A monthly fee Deposits in transit Deposits recorded by the depositor that have not been recorded by the bank Outstanding checks Issued checks recorded by the company but have not yet been paid by the bank. Cash equivalents Short-term highly liquid investments that are readily convertible to cash and insensitive to changes in the market.
restricted cash. Cash that is not available for general use. Principle of Internal Control 1 Establishment of Responsibility Principle of Internal Control 2 Segregation of Duties Principle of Internal Control 3 Documentation Procedures Principle of Internal Control 4 Physical Controls Principle of Internal Control 5 Independent Internal Verification Principle of Internal Control 6 Human Resource Controls Purpose of Internal Control 2 Enhance accuracy and reliability of the accounting records by reducing the risk of errors and irregularities in the accounting process. Purpose of Internal Control 3 Increase efficiency of operations Purpose of Internal Control 4 Ensure compliance with laws and regulations.